Good morning, modern witches. Welcome back to the Witch of Lupin Hollow YouTube channel. I'm Tanae Stewart, the Witch of Lupin Hollow, and today we're going to talk about how to integrate your magical and mundane realities, in this case, in the form of a spiritual skincare routine. So one of the key ways to really start manifesting your most magical life, the magical life that you've been dreaming of where you know you get to be your witchiest self, you get to live openly in whatever way you're most comfortable with, um, and really express your spirituality in your daily life, um, whether that involves other people or not. One of the main first steps to manifesting that kind of magical life is to really start integrating your magical and mundane realities. So that means, you know, combining the magical, the spiritual, the esoteric, the metaphysical, combining all of those elements of your spiritual practice with the, you know, mundane reality of your real daily life. So, you know, we all have to get up and brush our teeth and feed the dog and, you know, take the kids to school or go to work or whatever it is that we have to do um, as part of, you know, living our lives in society, right? So when you have an imbalance between your magical and your mundane lives, that's when it can be really difficult to you know, live your most authentic self. Um, and again, that's whether or not other people know about your spiritual, spiritual practice and spirituality. Even if you're in the so-called broom closet, not having some kind of integration between these two sides of yourself can really lead to a major imbalance um, where you know you're not fulfilling your highest purpose or you know living in alignment with your highest purpose on either side so you really want to start integrating these two different spheres of your life um, and so one of my favorite ways to do this and to talk about this is when you can take something that you're already doing, something that is part of your mundane reality and mundane practice anyway, and take that and transform it into something that's magical. So instead of you know trying to set aside time for a spiritual practice um, that is separate from your daily life, although there can be value in doing that, um, Instead of trying to, you know, fit your spirituality into your life, it's more about looking at your real life, what you're already doing as part of your day to day, looking at the things that already make you happy, right, that already make you feel fulfilled or enlightened or whatever it is that you're looking to feel, and turning those into a spiritual practice. So... I think one of the best examples of this is a spiritual skincare routine because skincare is one of those things that we're all kind of doing, you know, at, at various degrees, depending on who we are, right? We're all taking care of our physical bodies in some way, whether it's purely hygienic or, you know, there's other things, other ways that we're trying to take care of ourselves over and above that. Um, maybe you're even doing some things that you consider that are more pampering, um, that are less necessary, but, you know, make you feel really good. When you can identify that as something that makes you feel good, that's a great place to start with turning it into a spiritual practice. So... I'm going to demonstrate for you three steps to a spiritual skincare routine that you can start doing right away and that some of these steps you're probably already doing and if this is something you're interested in, you just need to do them with a little bit more intention. So the first step, um, as with pretty much any ritual, is purification. So in my own skincare routine, I like to use just facial wipes um, that, you know, take off your makeup and take away kind of the dirt and grime from the day. So when you're thinking of this as just, you know, taking your makeup off, you're sort of, your mind is drifting away. You're not really thinking about what you're doing. It's just sort of a task you have to do at the end of the day, right? But if you do this with a little bit more intention and you think of it as purification, purifying your skin, but also purifying your mind and purifying yourself of any negativity you might have picked up throughout the day, um, it becomes a much more spiritual activity. So you can, you know, do this however you like, um, but I always like to sort of like start it at my forehead, start at the top, right? And I always just sort of work in a pattern and work my way around my face, right? And take my makeup off, take off the, the dirt from the day. And when you do this with intention in this way, especially when you do it in a pattern like that, 
when you do that pattern over and over every day, it becomes very meditative, right? It's something that not only you're doing for hygienic purposes, but it sort of helps you clear your mind instead of, you know, thinking about a million other things that you need to get done or that you need to do for someone else um, while you're doing this simple daily task. Uh, you can do it with more intention and instead, you know, turn your thoughts inward and really focus on letting go of whatever you need to let go of. Um, purification is great for that. You know, it's a fresh start, but it's also a release of whatever you need to release. Um, so, you know, I think that starting with whatever purification method you like, whether you like to use wipes like this, or if you have, you know, a particular tool that you use, or if you like to actually wash your face when you take your makeup off um, and use some kind of product that way, whatever it is that you're doing can be your first step in your spiritual skincare routine. All it needs to do is be purifying in some way. Um, the second step is a little bit more specifically esoteric. Um, so, and this is something that's become more and more popular in the last, I'd say maybe five years or so. Um, so there's a lot of talk lately about like crystal skincare um, and using crystals as a part of your skincare routine. So a lot of people like to use a crystal roller, which I don't actually have one. I'd love to get one. Um, I keep meaning to, but even if you don't have a roller and that is, you know, it's sort of like a little tool, it almost looks like a, um, like an eyelash roller. It's like a little wand and then it has this little curved end with a crystal on the end that can roll. Um, and so in, if you are using a roller, you just sort of roll the crystal over your face, um, or anywhere on your body, really over your skin. Um, and it's the same sort of thing, you know, you move it in that same sort of pattern that I was using with the facial wipes. Um, and it's supposed to, you know, like rejuvenate your skin, um, depending on what kind of crystal you're using, you know, you might be getting different benefits. A lot of times you'll see them in jade, which I think is the most traditional you'll see them in rose quartz, you'll see them in amethyst. Um, but even if you don't have a crystal roller that's specifically for this purpose, I find that any smooth polished, preferably palm stone, but any polished crystal will work. So this is just a pretty little selenite crystal that I have. Um, it's actually carved, you can kind of see it there, it's really pretty. And it's just smooth and flat, right? So you don't want to use something that's not polished because it's gonna be rough and you don't wanna use that on your skin. But something that's, that's nice and polished like this um, will actually roll on your skin pretty easily even though it's not meant for this purpose necessarily. So you just sort of stroke the crystal over your skin. And you know, it's supposed to have this really nice rejuvenation quality. Um, and that it's also, you know, really infusing your body with the crystal. So just like you would use crystals for, you know, other purposes like crystal grids on your body or something like that. Um, you know, this is the same concept that you're having a physical connection with the crystal. So in this case, um, selenite is a great option because it's actually you know, it sort of absorbs and dissipates negativity. Um, so, you know, anything that you've picked up and you're carrying through the day, you know, this one in particular is gonna be kind of purifying. Um, if you're using rose quartz, you know, that's gonna be really focused on the heart and helping you to turn inward and love yourself and love others. Um, you know, amethyst is a great one to use right before bed because amethyst is really helps us to fall asleep and relax, but also helps us to connect with our intuitive dreams. Um, so depending on what you're using, you're gonna might see different benefits from that. Um, but that's gonna be, you know, it, it there's certain beliefs that it does have, you know, this rejuvenating element um, that it really helps the skin to be brighter and glow more. Um, but it's also, you know, has this really esoteric side as well. Um, so step one in your spiritual skincare routine is purification. Step two is crystal rolling um, to pick up the benefits of different crystals. And step three is moisturizing. So this isn't sponsored, this is just my favorite moisturizer, is Celestial from Lush. Um, and it's just this really, soft, creamy, it's kind of hard to tell with the glare, um, but it's just a really soothing, beautiful moisturizer, and I like to put it on right before bed. So, you know, you're just going to take a little bit of moisturizer, and I find that moisturizer is a great thing to use as part of your spiritual skincare routine because it is so 
it does feel like you're pampering yourself, even though you're doing something that is really, really good for your skin, um, but is so simple and easy and affordable to do, right? So it sort of helps you to feel really connected um, to your physical body, and it's the same sort of thing. You can do that same pattern. Um, so I usually like to put a little on my cheeks and rub it in, and then, you know, move in a pattern. Um, and I just really find that, especially if you're using the same pattern for, you know, first purifying your skin and then rolling the crystals and then applying the moisturizer, that just becomes really ritualistic um, and helps you really get connected and sort of generate that feeling that you want, that magical feeling, that pampered feeling, um, and, you know, that feeling of that your self-care, that you're really doing something that's really good for yourself. Um, you know, it's hygienic, but it also goes beyond that. So three steps to spiritual skincare routine. Number one, purification. Number two, crystal rolling. And number three, a really soothing and pampering moisturizer. Um, and this is a great routine to do right before bed, um, but you could do it, you know, at any time that you're feeling the need for it. Um, so really the idea behind this is just to take a act, an activity, um, an element of your life that you're already doing that you are thinking of as mundane and turning it into a ritual so that instead of trying to, you know, do your skincare routine and then do a ritual before bed, your skincare routine is already a ritual, or at least it's going to lead you into your ritual. Um, so that's a, you know, really great place to start if you're looking to integrate your magical and mundane realities. Um, shoot me a comment below and, you know, tell me whether or not you're already doing something like this, um, if you've ever thought of having a spiritual skincare routine, or, you know, what your struggles are in integrating your magical and mundane realities, because it's so important, um, but it can also be really challenging. Um, so drop me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Um, and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when I put out new videos. All right, I will see you guys next week.